What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lou back at it again with my team video. Today's my video is on the Evan Turner that came out with today's bracket busters promo, which is like a little bit of a tongue twister. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road 375 subscribers by the end of March, and we're trying to hit that. Like the video helps out the algorithm and all that stuff like that. Comment down below what's your favorite car from the promo. I think my favorite car so far has been D Wade, and probably that honestly that pink diamond tile. That pink diamond tile is pretty damn good. Uh, but Evan Turner it literally could play small forward and point guard. That's one of the reasons I wanted to make a video on him because he can play point guard. He is six foot seven, two hundred twenty pounds from Ohio State. He comes with an eighty nine three point shot, a ninety four mid range, an eighty five driving dunk, an eighty six ball handle, a seventy five block, eighty two steal, eighty nine perimeter defense with an eighty five interior D. So the car seems like he's a little bit mediocre on defense, but offensively he can dunk and shoot. So I mean, that's a bright side. Um, he comes at an 88 defensive rebound, a 74 offensive rebound, which is pretty damn bad, I'm not going to lie. Comes at a 90 speed with ball, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, and an 85 vert, and an 80 strength, and an 88 stamina, 93 hustle, and 89 lateral quickness. That stamina is a little bit lower than I would want, just because everybody has a 90 stamina. And that's the only reason. So his tendencies are that he has a 72 pass interception tendency with a 68 on-ball field tendency with a 68 contest shot tendency and a 34 block shot tendency. So overall, this car defensively is not looking too great. I will say that right now, but he does come with two Hall of Fame badges, which are a limitless spot up and clutch shooter. And then he comes with 45 gold badges, catch and shoot, acrobat, post pick technician, ankle breaker, hyper drive, break starter, glue hands, dimer, pick pocket, pick dodger, chase on artist, clamps. Quick Chain, Interceptor, Off-Ball Pass, Pogo Stick, Tiles Defender, Lucky 7, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Rhythm Shooter, Slithery Finisher, Bailout, Downhill, Handles for Days, Needle Threader, Quick First Step, Space Creator, Stop and Go, Oh my god, I'm out of breath, Dead Eye, Sniper, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Unstrippable, Bullet Passer, Special Delivery, Ankle Braces, Volume Shooter, Fast Twitch, Triple Dead Juke, Ball Stripper, and Reserve and Lay Back are his uh, like uh, physical badges, which really don't matter at all. But those are his badges. Let's go out to freestyle. We're going to test out his animations in there. And then we're going to go out to the Triple Threat Online game and test out his animations in there. Evan Turner has hot zones everywhere except the top of the key in the right corner. In that corner of that little paint area. His jump shot is cash. It's pretty damn easy to time. I've been trying to like record this freestyle really part for a while now. Um, it's pretty damn easy to time. It is a little bit on the quicker end when you uh, catch and shoot it. But majority of the time, after you get used to it with a couple more shots, like, it's pretty damn easy time. It's probably one of my favorite jump shots already that I've used today out of these cars. It's like D-Wade's, but a little bit more arc, if that makes any type of sense. It's like basically the same release type, like speed. Um, as right now, I literally can't green. I don't know why. There we go. There's the green. But overall, as soon as you get used to this uh, jump shot, it's pretty damn easy to time. Uh, let's check out his step back. Step back, he gets a little bit of space. Not too crazy. Um, his fadeaway is ass, because that was his fadeaway. I'll show you again, just in case you missed it. I mean, it's pretty damn easy to time, but it's just you're not going to get any type of space with it at all. Let me go left. Left, you get a little bit more space. Maybe because I was running to the three-point arc. I mean, not the three-point arc, but the hash. I just don't, I, I don't know. I don't like his fadeaway at all. Because right now, I'm literally mistiming everything. I mean, his handles aren't going to be the craziest. They are pretty damn good. He has Luka size of package, which is always, like, a good thing if you like that package. But I really don't because um, you don't really get that much speed boost out of it. Handles-wise, he doesn't feel like the best. But he doesn't feel like he's that bad. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. So overall, I mean, so far he's not worth it in my opinion. Especially because he's, like, um, like I feel like defensively he's going to suck ass. I'm going to be honest. Dunky, he's going to be able to do everything offensively that you need him to. But... I mean, that speed is probably going to kill him because he only has a 90 speed and a majority of people already have uh, a 90-something speed already at every position. But I guess if you're brand new to my team, then the car wouldn't be a bad car to use. But I definitely would recommend other small boards over him unless you're going to use him at point guard. And then in that case, I would take Isaac Bonga over him. Uh, so definitely right now, I don't think he's worth it, but we'll see when I actually play an online game after I green one more shot real quick. I late the hell out of that. And there it is. There's the green, and now we're gonna test him out on top of their online and see how he performs. So so far we got blocked and we made it late. That's all that happened with Evan Turner. Uh, I skipped that part just because it was a lot of literally just off balling for both of us. I mean wide open shot. He's gonna hit those. He has to hit those. So far the card is not worth it in my opinion because of that stamina. That stamina runs out so quick after a couple moves. 
trying to score Brandon Ingram, which I could just lock him up uh, with Brandon Ingram, but it's all good. This guy is really trying his ass off, so it's going to be a little bit harder, and it's going to show that to see if Evan Fournier can actually, like, not Evan Fournier, Evan Turner can actually compete. I mean, he has all these crazy dunks for no apparent reason. I will admit that. Like, all the dunks that I, like, went for already this game, that's the only one that you guys have seen, but it's been, like, a 360 in between the legs, like, some crazy shit every single time. I mean, this should be a bucket. Like, we're literally struggling to get past him. He's trying to double me now. That's a dime, man. That's a dime. So, I mean, I guess if you just need a point guard, like a tall point guard to play a little bit of defense on taller defenders, but he can't even do that. Like, he's struggling to stay in front of B.I. right now. I mean, that's plans. We're all balling to see, like, like, bro, he is just too slow. He is just too slow. Right there, I didn't even get crossed. He was just a lot faster. Like, he's going to be able to catch up easily. Like, see what I mean? He always tries to uh, do some flashy dunk. That's one thing I don't like about this card already. He does that every single time he goes up. We're going to play off ball. See, so he can actually play some off ball on uh, BI. We're going to actually see. Maybe it was just my defense. I mean, he's playing really solid defense, so maybe it was just my defense. I'm not jumping at all, my boy, so you're going to have to give that shit the hell up. You're going to throw it back to AI. I mean, that's a bucket. So maybe it is just my defense. This guy is, like thinks I'm sweating my ass off or something like that. Bro, like, calm down. If I wanted to, this game would literally be over by Give it right back. Wide open. Oh, never mind. He actually picked up on that. I'm taking a lot of dumb shots. I will admit that. I will admit that. But it's all good. It's all good. He, he needs a three with Cam, so it really doesn't even matter. Uh, so right now, I wouldn't say he's worth it. I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys and tell you guys this guy's worth it when he's really not. I'm going right, and he thinks I'm going left. Like, you're, you're a dumbass. I mean, he can't even get a shot up with Wendell Carter Jr. I get it. I took forever to shoot that. We're going to try to do a little layup, a little floater action right there. But I definitely recommend, like, Isaac Bongo over this card. Like, I don't think he's worth the 5000 that I paid for him at all, or 4000 I forgot how much it, I actually that ass paid for him. I mean, right now, like, I don't know what the hell my team is doing. I'll be honest. I'm playing the worst defense I've probably played all day. And this guy is sweating. Like, I'm not doing agendas right now. Not, not agendas. Gameplay. Wide open shot. We caught him. I mean, that's wet. That's wet. His jump shot is definitely, like, nice looking and it's easy to time. Well, it's not nice looking. It's just easy to time. Um, we're, not, we're not getting off that three. Right? We can have that. I just think that Isaac Vanga is like is way better than him defensively. His shot, I like it a lot better. I mean, that's a wide open shot. That's green bean. Maybe I'm just playing like trash, but I definitely, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say this card is worth it. Oh, you're not going in the corner, my boy. You're literally just trying your ass off. No reason. You're literally, no. No, you can have it. Like, what are you doing? Trying way too hard, my boy. We're gonna jump. That's a bucket. It better be a bucket. I mean, I forget this card doesn't have the crazy dunk animations like everybody else. Like when it comes to contact guns. He has all the 360s and stuff like that, but I don't think he can just yam on somebody so easily. He's gonna jump right here. I'm going back to the three-point arc. Wide open at three. We're gonna have to shoot that. Just because this guy thinks he's good, so now I'm really gonna beat him. But Overall, I guess if you're starting off the game, he wouldn't be a, like a bad pickup, but there's other small forwards that are a lot cheaper than him that are way better than him. I will say that. So it's all like personal preference if you guys like his jump shot, if you like his play style, if you like his build. But in my opinion, not worth the money. Not worth the money at all. Right now, Rudy Gay, what the f was that, my boy? He's throwing, he throwing it in the B.I. He's not going to... We're there. Now we're here. Don't worry, we're here. You ain't getting an open shot. You want to play like that. We're, we're actually going to sweat. I mean, we really can't do much about that. That is a center, my boy. We're going to take the open shot because this guy actually thinks that I can't guard him. Like, he actually thinks he's good. That's the shit that's hilarious. You want to play like that? Yes, yeah, sir. That's clamps. Yes, sir. Give me that. All right, you want to play like that? Let's play like that. Got him. Got him. See, like, he does such flashy dunks, man. He does such flashy dunks.
I, I don't know, man. In my opinion, he's not worth it. Let me know if you guys like the card if you did try him out. But I just don't think he's worth it. I know I said that multiple times, but I really do believe that. I'm not going to see you guys the wrong direction and tell you he's worth it when he really isn't. And yeah, it's been your boy Lou, and we are there. Peace.